Hi friends, this is Ashwin Pendiala. I do coding in SAP, Java and Python. Today we shall see one of the concept called method chaining. So I said concept because this is not a um, algorithms and data structures related question. So it is a, just a concept which you need to know. It is like a good to know concept for interviews. So we shall see what exactly is method chaining now. Uh, so what exactly your achievement should be in this program is you will be you'll be given different methods and you need to chain them together the different methods would be from different classes how how can you chain them in a single statement how and how can you run them all the methods in one single statement say for example you have lb underscore obj this is an object and say you are calling method one So LV underscore OBJ is referring to a class and in that class we have method one. So until now we are good. So we can call the method one because we have an object for it, but we have a method two, which is from a different class, which LV object is not referring to, but still you should be able to call this method two. How do you do that? So, so here it goes. You can you can declare two classes first now first initially you can define the class say class c1 definition okay we shall follow the same naming convention that is fine say method before methods you need to have public section methods method one uh, and class have another class class c2 definition So all this is uh, plain play all these are plain things so nothing special about these I'm just declaring two classes defining two classes I should I should use the word define and then what I do is I'll just implement those two classes so implementing now in class so the method which I can implement in class c1 is method one how, how would I do that is method method one and method some right this is class one and method one something whichever appeals to you so you can copy the same class again and paste it just this time you put it as c2 which is class 2 and method 2 method 2 so this is class 2 and method 2 so that is it but so you have declared two classes say c1 and c2 and methods method 1 and method 2 uh, they are from different classes now all you need to do is create a reference for this class create an object and call the methods in it class in that class how do you do that uh, first you need to create the create the references to this class and now i am creating reference to c1 class c1 so how do you create a reference why my brain is not working lcl underscore some obj so this is i'm using this let us say lcl uh, what i mean is local class lcl type reference to c1 now create object create object sorry obj ect sorry obj ect lcl underscore obj so we are good until now but this statement won't get executed the reason is we have created an object for the class c1 and in class c1 we have only method one but here we are calling we are using some weird statement after method one we are using method two two so we didn't link these two classes yet until now so this statement won't execute but what will get executed until now is uh, until method one which is this one so if i activate this and and run this see this is class one and method one but if i need to execute this statement what i exactly need to do is i need to create somehow create the reference of this class in this class for this method so for that you need to make this functional 
So what you do is I am creating a returning value for this method, method M1, which is in class C1. So I call this returning value any name, say um, return. So what would what should be the type of that return? So what should be the type of this return is the reference to the class of to the reference in which this method two is existing. If suppose if my method two is existing in class some class, I need to get the reference object of that class. So that should be the returning of this LCL OBG method one. So what I would do is as method two is in class C2, I would create a reference here. Type reference to, sorry, type ref to C2. So simple. And so there is one more thing which you need to do. What you need to do is you need to create object return. So that's it. I think this should work now. So let us comment this and activate it. So now you see you you have created only one single object here which is of which is referring to the class c1 and you are calling the methods which are in both class c1 and class c2 so this is class 1 and method 1 this is class 2 and method 2 the same way you can implement any number of methods and any number of classes and you can keep chaining them here like method 3 can be from some other some other class method four from some other class you can call them as, as you wish so this will be easier if you have created some class some global class and you give it to some other so that they can create some object especially you can see these kind of things in factory methods so uh, it would be easier to say for example how would i explain it to you say uh, for example if you are creating a report and if you need to add some zebra lines to that report so first you display the report with this method and then add zebra lines using this method. You can add colors using this method. You can add, can you, you can do the filters using some methods. You can pass input parameters here. So you can do pretty much many of the many things uh, using this method chaining. And, and a concept looks easier and simpler to understand also. You don't need to create multiple objects here. And even you don't, you, you can, I mean, you can make it work without even creating this object make this static method and you can call it using directly using the class. You don't even need to create even this object too. So I don't want to make this video length very long. So that is it for now. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.